today I will be teaching you about metric unit conversion. Before we start converting, we have to familiarize first with the common basic units which are meter, gram, and liter. Meter is used to measure length represented by letter M. Liter for capacity represented by capital L and gram to measure weight which abbreviation is letter G. To convert, we have to know the order of refixes in our metric system. Starting from thousand to thousands. For bigger unit, we have kilo, K, hecto, H, and deca, DA. Then we have our basic unit which can be meter, liter, or gram. And smaller unit which are deci, d, centi, c, and milli, m. For us to easily remember this order, we can use the saying, King Henry died unexpectedly drinking chocolate milk. In converting, it is also very important to know where is the decimal point. What do I mean by that? For example, we are going to convert 3 kilograms to gram, 8.1 hectometers to centimeter, 10 liters to milliliter, 12.9 milligrams to gram, and 41 centimeters to decimeter. First, we have to know where is the decimal point. Since 3 is a whole number, the decimal point is on its right. Next, using the order of unit conversion, let's identify how many places do we need to move our decimal point from kilogram to gram. We have 1, 2, and 3. So from here, we will start moving our decimal point 3 places to the right. And for every blank space, we will write 0 on it. Now we can say that there are 3,000 grams in 3 kilograms. Next, how many centimeters are there in 8.1 hectometers? Just like what we did before, we have to know how many places do we need to move our decimal point from hectometer to centimeter using the order of unit conversion. We have 1, 2, 3, and 4. So from here, the decimal point will move 4 places to the right. Again, write zero on every blank space. Therefore, the answer is 81,000 centimeters. Let's do another one. 10 liters to milliliter. 10 is a whole number, so the decimal point is on its right. Then figure out how many places the decimal point will move from liter to milliliter. 1. 2, 3. The decimal point will now move 3 places to the right. Fill in the blank space with 0. Then we can say that there are 10,000 milliliters in 10 liters. Okay, let's continue the conversion. 12.9 milligrams is equal to how many grams? From milligrams to grams, Let's see and count the movement of decimal point. 1, 2, 3. So the decimal point will move 3 places to the left. Therefore, 12.9 milligrams is equal to 0 0.0129 grams. For the last example, convert 41 centimeters Two decimeter. We already know that the decimal point of a whole number is always on the right. So from centimeter to decimeter, how many places will the decimal point move? 
Correct. It moves one place to the left. Therefore, we can say that there are 4.1 decimeter in 41 centimeters. Here are some to try on your own. Okay, let's answer. Did you get a perfect score? Excellent! There you have it! I hope you learned something today. If you like our discussion, please click like and subscribe. Thank you and see you again next time. Bye!